This is the Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah poster from 1991. This is by far one of my all-time favorite movie posters because of how freaking awesome it looks. Even if I don't recall the Ghidorah head shooting different color beams, Godzilla's demon looking eyes, nor what exactly this is supposed to be, I don't really care, it just looks cool. Movie posters are a simple form of advertisement that are made to help sell a movie with incredible artwork or ridiculously simple imagery. Movies that feature some type of creature will often have the posters keep the monster out of the image, but just hint at what it could be to help build suspense. Or some will have the monsters right on the poster, because let's be honest, these creatures are what we're coming to see. They're the real stars of the film. Posters from around the 50s would sometimes exaggerate what the monsters would look like. Like take a look at this poster from a movie called The Phantom from 10,000 Leagues. This is what the creature looks like on the poster, and here's what it looks like in the actual film. Similar concept of a sea creature, but quite different if you ask me. It just doesn't capture what the creature really is supposed to look like. Though if it did, I guarantee you no one would watch this, and rightfully so. Godzilla posters would often do this a lot throughout the Showa era films, at least the ones not in Japan, for the most part. So let's take a look at Godzilla Raids again here. Upon this film's release in America, it was treated as a new movie called Gigantus the Fire Monster, desequifying itself from the original. When the poster was made, it looked like this. Now quite honestly, this isn't that bad. For the most part, both these creatures look like whom they're supposed to represent. And Garrus is a little on the chunky side, and it almost looks like he wants to give him a hug rather than fight. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean Angoris. I don't understand why everything's red, but considering this is a foreign black and white film, they probably had no idea what the color was supposed to look like, so I'll let that slide. Yeah, overall not bad. Quickly let's look at the teaser poster for this version. And because it's just that, I can't be too harsh on it, but this not Godzilla nor Angaris looking creature does bother me a bit. It looks more like the Redosaurus from the Beast from 20,000 Phantoms than it does either Goji or Angi. Also the nose looks very off. It almost looks like it's turning itself toward us. As someone who's studying art and anatomy, I can say for sure that this is all sorts of wrong. Here's the Italian poster of the same movie. The poster translates as King of the Monsters, which it oddly feels more appropriate for this film than it does the first. Anyway, let me direct your attention to the grizzly bear looking dragon things up here. I don't know what the hell happened with these two. Did the artist even get a chance to look at the monsters? Or did he just glance at them for a second and had to remember what they looked like? Some people say that they both look like Angaris, and I kind of see with the snout. Also, this lady looks more afraid of Pee Wee Herman here than she does at what's going on behind her. But the Raids Again poster that just steals your eyes is the French one, which translates as The Return of Godzilla. This one definitely stands out in all the wrong ways. First off, the kaiju look very blocky and the green color choice makes them look like one of those animal hedge sculptures. Second, the awkward positioning of these two kind of makes it look like they're, um, mating, I guess? Though I'm pretty sure some of Dirty Minds caught that already. Let's jump to Godzilla vs. Hedra, cause why not? Let's start off with the Italian poster, which translates as Fury of the Monsters. And wow, wow. To begin with, let's look at Godzilla. Obviously, he's portrayed as this big green dinosaur creature with yellow eyes, which doesn't remotely depict what he looks like in the film. Hedra, on the other hand, looks fine, though I can't tell if this thing around Godzilla's neck is supposed to be Hedra's hand or body, maybe? Italy got another poster, and I don't know if I should say this is a masterpiece of crap or just plain crap. I mean, why are there two dinosaur-looking creatures here? I get it's supposed to be Godzilla, but which one am I supposed to think is him? In the movie, there isn't even more than two monsters, let alone two Godzillas. Also, one sticking its tongue out like a lizard. You know when reptiles do that, that often means they're trying to smell something? And I think of all the Goji foes, Hedra is the last one I think I want to be smelling. Speaking of Hedra, I like how he's just looking at both these things, wondering what the hell's even going on. Though they're not posters, I wanted to quickly look at the Italian lobby cards for this movie. 
I think they speak for themselves. Each one of them features a different monster on it, not even from Toho. They don't even put the right actors from the movie on them. I guess whoever came up with this thought all Japanese people look alike, so it doesn't matter who we throw on there. Some German lobby cards look strange as well. Like this one where Godzilla's battling Hedra, who literally looks like a giant demon turd. Or this weird one with Godzilla, I guess, jump kicking Hedra? There's another wacky one with him doing a similar pose in the air. I get this is the film Godzilla flies in, but I don't think they completely understood how that worked. So they just threw an image of Godzilla flying on anything. These next ones came as a surprise to me because I couldn't believe studios today were still doing this. Here's the Philippines poster for Shin Godzilla. Let's look what we've got here. We've got people running on mountaintops, tanks firing on said mountains, the burning D&D kingdom of Tokyo in the background with a fiery red sky in the back, Godzilla with oversized hands and a demonic face that would put any creepypasta fan art to shame. Who the hell came up with this? It's crazy. There's another variation of this poster which helps Godzilla pop out more when compared to the first one where he kind of blends in with almost everything. Also I like how it actively calls out the American films here. Like yeah, those don't mean shit. One last Philippines poster I want to look at has Godzilla again with the huge arms, but if I can praise anything, I do like how it's foreshadowing a certain thing you wouldn't expect Godzilla to do in this poster. For those who've seen the movie, and honestly who hasn't, you know what I'm probably talking about here. Also this beam just doesn't look right, given Godzilla's head position, the beam should be going like this, so whatever. I'm gonna end this off right here, but I'm definitely gonna make a part 2 because I've only scratched the surface of odd Godzilla poster art. With that being said, I thank you for watching, and take care.